Brain Computer Interface Race Top 4. It is Russia, Switzerland, Italy and Thailand all in the hunt for the gold medal using Brain Computer Interfaces to control avatars in this computer game. Now, there is Thailand on screen. That is Krian Kai Takadi. There is uh, Nurulin, the Russian. And, of course, Kunz for Switzerland all focused in to try and move this avatar in the Brain Driver game to over 16 sections, 500 virtual meters. Vettela gets off to a good start for Italy, Nicole, but they must hold their focus right to the end of the challenge. Exactly. So the pilots are uh, um, trying to send their commands, which are measured by this cap surveyor on their head, and that is actually measuring electrical activity of neurons in the brain. The problem is this activity is very small to pick up, so our pilots have to try to generate really large and distinctive signals in their brain. It's a good start for Ruslan Nurulin of the Neurobotics team out of uh, Russia. He is the early leader. Now, Samuel Kunz of Switzerland is a young gentleman you know very well, Nicole. Exactly. Samuel or Sammy is our pilot of our team where we developed the technology between Switzerland and Singapore. And um, he participated because he loves gaming and that is a new form of gaming he can do despite his, um, his handicap. And, of course, the aim of this technology is to be able to control devices like computers or wheelchairs for people with limited ability to move. And this is taking it to a competitive level. Leader Ruslan Nurulin has got off to a flying start. There goes the headlights on. That's one of the tests as well. But there is the first small mistake from the Russian. We can clearly see that, Nikol. Yes, so you see, this is the problem if you are in a competition to still send these clear commands in your brain, even though you might be a little bit emotional, excited, or you try to perform really well. It's an incredibly close race with just a few seconds, two, three seconds, separating these four pilots, all looking for the first gold medal of Cyberthon 2020. Takadi. Pushing here three seconds off the pace for Machidol BCI Laboratory. Oh, that is very good. Francesco is really, he's cruising along. Excellent performance. He's got the line. He's really got a good rhythm here. The focus is there. There's the first little waver from that optimum line that really does help those seconds whittle away. But Francisco Batella really is looking very strong here. And this could be a goal for the Italian if he can keep this focus going. They still have a bit to go. Still a little bit of work to do. It's so close. He's just a second off the pace here. Takadi is in second position so far, looking for a good finish, looking to try and close down the Italian leader. But here comes Francisco Batella. Heading for the line, crosses the line and changes top position. It is Thailand in second position with Takadi. It looks like Nurulin of Russia will take third with uh, Sami Kunz for Switzerland in fourth position. Here is the finishing now from Nurulin. Got to hold that focus right to the line. Sami Kunz is chasing for that bronze medal with the Russian pilot, but I think the Russian has just done enough to hold off Switzerland's uh, Sami Kunz. What a race! And it is confirmed that uh, Ruslan Nurulin has taken third position. There he is, crossing the line with Kunz, our fourth and final competitor, still with a very impressive performance. What a tight race! But it is Francesco Batella of Italy who takes the gold in the brain computer interface race. Celebrations in Thailand, delighted with silver and bronze for Russia. Good performance from Sammy Kunz, but it is the Italians that celebrate with the win today.